Hello there. This is an English version of my daily clip. Um, I was asked to make an English version for those people who follow me and who do not speak German. The German and the French version will follow quite soon. We do have uh, December the 29th. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I would want to give at least an outlook for the next three months. Most of my viewers do trade in a time period of a couple of days, two or three months and not longer. So for me there is no reason to make a one year outlook. There are others who can most certainly do it better. One conclusion at the beginning, um, I do not trust the market further than I can throw them, which is not very far. We are diving in all these different time frames, which we are looking at in a couple of minutes, in a very murky water, and I do not see that fresh flow, which is cleaning up this water. So let's start with a monthly view. And what I did is I put the Fibonacci's from 2003, from the beginning of this move, towards the all-time high. And there's one interesting point, it's here, the 38 spot 2 Fibo retracement, which is 9,238. Um, this is in combination with the chart support which we saw very often. This is the first point I keep in mind. Interesting is in all these monthly views, often the market changed with a hammer. So we have it here, there and there. I do not see any of these signals here at the moment. What I do definitely not like is that the Bollinger Bands do widen. If that is a 5 minute chart or 10 minutes or 1 hour, it's definitely a nice sell signal. On the monthly basis, we open on the upper side, we do open on the lower side, we had it once here. There it was in 2008, 2009, and it took a couple of months until the upper Bollinger Band did change its direction. So there's no change of direction at the moment. So that gives me the impression that the market should see that 9,238. Concerning to the technique, the MACD is already on the level of 2008 and 2003. It is already pretty deep, you know? but we already lost a couple of thousand points, more or less, quite, quite exactly 2,000 points. The stochastic is still negative. The fact that it is oversold is there, but it does not mean that there is a sort of stabilization. It's going to take at least two months until it might come up here, but it can take ages. It take, can take between five and eight additional months until there comes a buy signal, which is here. Let's go to the week. This is the week, and here you can see the 38 spot to Fibonacci retracement. I take these out. There's one very interesting thing. And this is what I said, it's very different to the monthly view of it. It's the week, because what the week does is we were below the lower Bollinger Bands, but we closed the week with a hammer inside of the bands, which is usually a quite good signal. This is quite positive and the market is uh, seeking for support. The low was in combination with, with the lows we had at the end of 2016. So more or less back to breakout, uh, because this was a breakout we then had and um, we touched down on this one. The technical indicator here, the MACD, is desperately seeking for support. It looks quite okay. There's nothing dramatic like we had in the month. Stochastic is already turning a little bit up, but I want to wait until we break the 20 level. I'm very static with these things, and um, this is so far not a buy signal for me now. We had a couple of uh, very funny days um, after Christmas, and uh, I think um, we will have a couple of more funny days ahead. Let's go to the day. Here is the day. A perfect downtrend. Absolutely perfect downtrend. The last interim high is here at 11, at 11,000. So this 11,000 done with the closing price is for me a very important level. If we close higher than the 11,000, then we definitely close in combination higher than the 20 day line. Then I have to rethink everything I say. And it might be that this downtrend, this really perfect downtrend, is going to get a sort of interruption. It doesn't mean automatically that out of a downtrend um, there comes an uptrend, but at least it is interrupted. The um, MACD is turning up a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it makes me, it gives me the impression that the market is seeking for a bottom. This point here, the low of this day, at uh, 10,279 is for me a very important support. 
if we break this level on the downside then we should continue our way below the 10,000 there's another point at 9850 coming from different chart points this might be then the aim of another down move so but at the moment as well in combination with the oscillator here I'd, uh, I rather have to think that on a few of one two three weeks we could get in touch with the 20 day line which is at 10904 at the moment decreasing by 35 points a day conclusion on the short term two or three weeks I expect the market to go on the sideways or make a tiny little correction towards 20 day line it will be completely new analysis necessary if we break this interim side at 11,000 but this is what I expect for the next two or three weeks um, on the next three months I am still not very positive for the market there are too many things on the negative side and especially in three months we do have this Brexit theme Brexit topic coming up again on our desk it is still not over whatever will happen there I've absolutely no idea we do have a president in the US who's always good for nice surprises so um, I do not see any really positive momentum for the next three months short term positive longer term rather negative this is what I will be doing this is the first trade of the next year these are the Eurex calls and puts and I want to do a strangle so I will be selling the March call 11,050 and I will sell the March put 9,800 in combination of these two I receive close to 400 euro 390 euro on volatility of 23 just the time decay is already very interesting um, just remember the volatility in the DAX was down towards I think 10 and a half 10 and a half 11 was the low and we just doubled this volatility on a calculation of basis so um, this is what I will be doing I will be selling these as well calls and puts as a strangle and um, then receive the time decay so this is my first idea for the next year I wish you a very nice 2019 nice pickings and a happy trading bye bye